Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Let's Play with Author JP Edgar, where I play some games I had never really played before. Today we're going to continue our journey with A Plague Tale on the PS4. Innocence, that's... Come on, camera, you can do it. Camera! Do betrays me! There we go. Plague Tale, Innocence, yeah, that's right. Boom. This is a second episode. So let's see, what happened last time? We had... um. We had some set animal times. Thank you very much, plot twist. I'm still going to be going after you. But she did bribe me with her. She's white chocolate cookies and cream chompy deliciousness. So I'll give her a pass for now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We, uh, the, we talked with that terrible, neglectful mother. Then we got attacked by the Inquis Inquisition because nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. And we ran. And we ran. And then we ran. And then we eventually we got we got to the village where we got shunned by our peoples. So much betrayal. An old lady talks to us, and Hugo ho throws a hissy fit and runs away like a child because you know, child. <laughs> and shout out the plot twist with her help in the stream today. So check her uh, description, uh, check her channel description in below. Talks about books, book reviews, book shelves, book book booky stuff so just check it out you know all that stuff all right without wasting any more time let's get this done let's move all right i want to start off with the camera on the bottom right now because i'm going to play even a little bit more of an expert mode and um try to keep track of the ammo myself mental power iq of six <laughs> We're going to see how this turns out. I don't know. I mean, because all four corners are going to be used at one point or another. And this weekend, I'm going to be uh, building a, a little UI, a little overlay. So that way, I don't have to worry about this corner cutting BS that I'm dealing with right now. And uh, hopefully, we'll get things taken care of. So that's this weekend. So that is this weekend. So, all right. So uh, we we still have a general familiarity with the controls. Uh, it's not really too complex. Oh, I forgot to unmute the capture card. I almost forgot this time. I almost forgot. Yes, I almost forgot to unmute it. That would have been bad. That would have sucked. Oh, also, I'm going to entertain you by putting my life in jeopardy once more with... Ba, 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 ba. The treadmill, it makes a valiant return. And here we go. I'm going to try not to die, but we'll see how things turn out. I almost died in the first step. I don't know if you did that or not. So we're going to see how things turn out. We're going to, we'll do that for now. It's been a little bit since I used the treadmill. I had some, uh, some achiness going on, and you're not going to really see me use it. I'm going to bring this down just a smidge. I don't really use the treadmill when I'm achy because, you know, achies. All right, let's see. So we're going to have to keep an eye on, out on the corners for all the crafting stuff because if we want to be as efficient as possible, make sure we uh, sling to the face as best as possible and be Evie Fry all ninja sneaky as possible, we're going to have to really do some major upgrades. I don't know if I really want to upgrade too much on the ammo. It really depends on how much is actually being upgraded. Um, oh, i got to tell Hugo to... Come hither. Oh, never mind. Hugo said, never mind. Well, that's that, that that could be a way out, but I'm not finished searching. I haven't even started searching. Besides, Hugo's like, check it out. I'm like, all right, I'll check it out. Oh, that candle definitely had like a, a snap to the IP chain. That, that is the hand really brought it down. What shows it down? I'm not dying. All right, child, come hither as we search for stuffs. All right, what is that? That is booze. Man, she's going to get drunk. Two out of eight. So would some of the upgraded, upgrades, upgraded some of the uh, the pouches or whatever allow me to carry more crafting equipment? So 
let's see, we got, we got the pouch here. That's gonna take what looks like three skins. I wanna say three skins. But if I can only carry like four skins, <laughs> I will, okay, five skins. We're gonna kind of dodge that conversation all together. If we could only carry five skins, but we found more, would that be wasted? So maybe the pouch to carry more stuff to upgrade would be the best choice. Kind of like a, a struggle now, but uh, benefit later. And I think I might go with that route. Okay, let's see. By the way, how's the treadmill sounding? Are you hearing it with the, uh, the new microphone? Let's see. Yeah, she actually regrets killing someone, or even hurting someone. You know what that means? She actually has character, unlike the doe-eyed uh, individual I played in the previous game where the first thing that was moving. Uh, exchange back and forth a little weak, but I'll take it. Um, nope, just you. Okay. Good, good, good. Thank you. Um, I was saying something. I don't remember exactly what it was. Oh, yes. Character development. The doughy-eyed lady in the, in the previous game I played where she had no regrets on shooting someone even though she was supposed to be a rescue person, the first thing that moved, she decided to put half a dozen bullets into. So it was really kind of weak. Weak, 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 weak. And I almost stepped on the side of the treadmill. All right, so it looks like this could be our way out, but did we finish searching? So we got a rosary, but we don't really know what the rosary is. Let's go check that out. Let's see, Kodak. Made from simple materials, these necklaces serve as prayer guides. They are extremely widespread and serve as a testament, as a testament to the inescapable role of religion society. So they don't really do anything. That's what that's what I'm gathering. So gifts. So it looks like it's just there, like um, extras, I suppose. So are the curios going to be used as well? Because I don't know. Because we got gifts, we got curiosities. I don't know. It might just be extra stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with the game. Because, for example, if you didn't pick up the spices from the beginning, could you find them later? Is this for an achievement? It's, it can't be for gameplay. Maybe for an upgrade. But I don't know. I don't. I don't foresee this as being anything major on the gameplay matter. Oh, you can run here. Come, Hugo. We shall run back and forth. We shall run back and forth. All right. And one lap. No, we're just gonna we're gonna stop there. We're gonna stop there. <laughs> okay. So it looks like we probably got everything here. I don't see any more indicators on uh, for interactivity. For yeah. <clears throat> so we got the rosaries. We got that. Yeah. Uh, let's let's move on. Let's move on. How do you know? You could be a chonky boy. Uh, we now have a goal. Talk to the monk. All right. Am I going to Assassin's Creed it and jump up here? No, we have to go all the way down. We actually have to go the human way. That's fine. That is fine. I thought I saw something, but I think it was just like that crack. In, yeah, it's the crack in the ground. 
All right, so let's see what we got. Let's see if there's anything here. I suspect I'll be doing a lot of running around and doing searches. So. But at least, at the, at the very least, you can see just the top of Amelia's head. You can see like the glimmer of the object. So even if I don't have the interactive icon coming on, I can see that I can, well, interact with it. So that'll help me uh, find all of the crafting stuff. All right. I wonder how many chapters are in this game, because I'm on chapter three right now. Oh, OK. All right. Okay, that works. <clears throat> I'm picking up all these stuffs, and I don't want any overflow. If I pick something up, I want to be able to use it when it comes to crafting things. So yeah, I think my primary focus is going to be the uh, the bag, so I can carry more stuff. That's my th turn of thought. I know I could. Definitely work on being more sneaky, sneaky, or empowering the sling or whatever other, like more ammo. But I still think the crafting gear is my is where I want to go. I don't want any of this precious material to go to waste. He's turning more and more into a cinnamon roll, but he could be very obnoxious. I don't know how old he is. I'm going, I would guess, what, like four or five? How, how old do you think he is? More stuffies. More stuffies. Going to get the stuffies. Stuffies. Finish searching the outside and the. Oh, more stuffies. Okay, so we picked up quite a bit. Let's see if we can. Oh, apparently the uh, categories are going to keep extending. We didn't have Hugo's. Uh, Herbarium uh, prior, so yeah, this is going to keep growing as we're picking stuff up. So I'm going to go to the upgrades. What do we have? We have a bunch of random things, but nothing to really upgrade anything, at least not yet. We're just going to have to keep going. We're going to have to keep going. If I remember correctly, Amicia is 13 and Hugo is 6. Okay. Okay, I can work with that. No interactivity, no nothing. And there is the cranky old monk. Brother. You again. I told you to leave. No, no, to stay. You have no idea. Leave while you still can. Please. Someone has to help us. Good for him at least. Beloved Darun. Presence here is not a good sign. This is your position. They came too late. <laughs> the Inquisition. What a show. What is to come is far worse. You must leave immediately, or you will die. Father, the villagers wanted to kill us. Church. Barely. 
through the crypt of the three saints. You may not be too late. I shall try to put you on the path to where it would be told. After that, may God watch over you. All seems calm for the moment. Did you suspect otherwise? I mean, as far as I can tell, the church is a plague ridden a uh, place that's completely forbidden to anyone to enter. But all seems calm for a moment. Father, why are there crosses on the village doors? Is this really the place? It started with violence during the night. Then sickness spread. Cursing and families went to everyone. And there, in the rain, people started dying. When we finally found out where he came from, it was already too late. Then, where did it come from? There were many there. Man, it's talking about the uh, the bubonic plague and stuff like that. It's this is wow. Is he limping? Passing a kidney stone, I guess. Mother. So he says stay in the light, but he's moving away from the light. I sense mischief. Boys, yeah, why did you leave the light in the first place, moron? It's important to stay in the light, so let me walk out of it, moron. You, this okay, so it looks like I can actually walk around. Um. Based on the radius, it looks like the cheese boys cannot enter the light. So, so long as I have a torch in my hand, I can walk around and search. That's what I'm gathering. And they just up and evaporate, like completely melt away if I trap them in a corner. Okay. Mmm, sexy. <laughs> okay, so I can't run. I can't do anything. This is this is the pace that I can go. Very slow. Okay, so we saw what happens when the cheese boys get you. They just up and chomp your face. Oh man, I want to promote you to captain. Captain Obvious. That's already been established. Thank you. You can't crouch. You can't do anything. But I, uh, those inputs might also be locked until uh, something else happens. So, no. It, look, it, calm down. We are in no sense of a, this, we can take our time. Calm down. Jeez, boys! <laughs> oh, I think I already searched everywhere else. But look at that. It's just an ocean of cheese boys. Swarming to eat the face. Well, you were next to a door, so... Holy crap! 
up, his entire bottom half is straight up gone. But the good juicy parts is, are still there, so these boys are highly inefficient. You can't cross obstacles with a torch in hand. You know, Hugo, have you ever held a torch before? It's probably not that heavy. All right, so. All right, now take the torch. Take the torch. Okay, never mind. Okay, there's a light there. She refuses to take the. She refuses to do anything intelligent. Okay, so what is this? So this is. When holding a flammable item, push triangle near a fire source to connect it. Okay. Okay. Sticks only burn for a few moments before they go out. Okay. And there's a pile of sticks. What if I do this? Light the sticks on fire. These are not very flammable sticks. Not long at all. Not long at all. Okay. So let's plan our route. We're going to have to go straight through there and turn. Looks like to the right. I could see there, there might be some stairs. So that's like winding stairs. So that's probably going to be my route. So let's go. What is this, Game of Thrones? Careful, the light will go out. So I can push circle to uh, just drop it all together. Okay. Not before searching. Not before searching. Okay, so we got more cheese boys. We got more stuff here. Let's see. Oh, and they are aching. Okay, so it looks like there's something here. Okay, picking up the stuff is. So it looks like we're going to have to go up and over over here. Let's see, what else? What else? Okay, we got a flame source here, another eight to monk. Let's see, are there sticks around? Should be able to knock something down. What's that? Okay, so now I gotta be looking upward to see if I can find something to knock down. Okay, that works, that works. See, this is what I was talking about. I now have um, as much sulfur as I can carry and this sulfur is now going to waste. All right, so I have a door there, a ladder up, and looks like that's probably going to be the way out right there. So let's go through that door. Let's go through that door. Or not. <laughs> All right, that answers that question. So let's go up this ladder, huh? No cheese boys up here. More shinies. Okay, let's see. What else? What's the next? Oh, I see something shiny over here. All right, some cells right there. Some that here. Okay, so what is the next step? The next step, there's nothing over here to get me over there, so I'm going to assume that there, oh, we have a screen uh, capture card freeze. So I guess I better take care of that real quick, huh? I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let's get back on this death trap for, for your amusement. 
And resume. Uh, everything's unmuted, yes. Sorry, what was I saying? Oh yes, I didn't see anything over here, so I'm probably going to have to, yeah, knock that over. So I was thinking about like a, a lantern or something that I can knock down. And that's probably it right there. Da, 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 da. We'll pass at the same time. So does that mean it's going to continuously swing, breaking the laws of physics? All right, where's the lion? There's the lion. Oh, too fast. So I got nibbled on the toe. Is there a hit point in this game? I don't see anything. She's not holding her side or I don't see any blood trail and there's no hit point indicator as far as I can tell. So I don't think there's actual hit points in this game. I gotta get checked back up. I got every time I do a a correction like that, I a chat hides. So I gotta unhide it. Okay, so oh, let's see. We got a workbench. All right. So let's see what we can do. We can upgrade our pockets, but we can't upgrade our pouch. We're missing five oil. <laughs> I don't know what that icon is. It looks like oil. So, but we do have enough to upgrade our pockets. Making it more robust. Like hold 12 of these. Okay, th that's actually what I was looking for. This is actually what I wanted to upgrade. I actually thought it was going to be the, uh, the pouch, but I think that's just ammunition. Oh, maximum accuracy. Oh, I don't, I don't even know. Okay, so now we got that. We could, in theory, go back and see if we can pick up that whatever it was that we're missing. No, let's just move on. Let's just move on. Oh, you just had to say something. Okay, so... We have a situation here, and now we have to go through Cheese Boys. Ow. <laughs> we have to go through Cheese Boys without anything. So let's see. What, okay, looks like we can hit something there. What is that? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Knock that over. I didn't know it was meat in there. I was looking for other things because there was like a, a chunk of stuff there too. It also looks like right about there, there's something I can pick up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock this one down, grab that, and then come back to see if I can wrap around and grab and uh, knock that one down. That sounds like a solid game plan. Wow. They, uh, okay. That definitely did not clear the path I thought it would. We're going to grab this. Anything else? What about over here? Oh, there's something shiny over here. <sighs> Looks like the door. I don't want to go through the door yet. At least I saw something over here I thought I can go through. So we're going to see what's over here first. Never mind. I think it was just light that I thought with the window. Yep. It's the light I thought was a window. All right, moving on. So it looks like those bags hold them quite a bit. Their attention is straight up there, not coming toward me at all. So I'm not gonna, as soon as I knock it down, I'm not going to be timed, which is a question I had. Let's get some sippy cup going on. Okay. So we have down there, we have over here, I don't know, let's just move on. 
I don't really think there's much of a point to remember where everything's at because you're just going to be going from point A to point B without going back. Okay. What do we got? We got oil or alcohol, sorry. Hmm. So it's telling me I can do something, probably go up there. Where's that going to go? Looks like it's going to wrap around over to there. And I see a shiny. So let's give that a shot. Let's see what's happening. Not sure why. Okay, so I grabbed that stuff from all the way down there without having to bend over or anything. That's good to know. So her pickup range is not bad. And we don't have to worry about animations or her leaping down and all that stuff. So now that we're over here, let's see what we got. We got, oh, meat. Looks like that's probably going to be the play right there. So I don't know exactly how much of the rats are going to be bothered and distracted, but what would be the next move after that? So we're going to knock that down. Is there any more? Hmm. Well, let's just do this because we we discovered that there's no time limit. Let's see how many gets uh, gets distracted. Quite a bit of them, actually. Okay. So he can grab the torch. He knows how to torch. So how could he be scared about putting the torch away? Hugo, you know make a sense. I was actually just thinking that. All right, so now we got a torch. This is not going to be burning out. So I can start picking up some things. That is that. So I can actually put the torch there and probably jump through because she doesn't know how to pick up a torch on the way. So let's see if there's anything around here I can pick up. Yeah, a couple things. I can't run, so this is about, this is the pace. I think that's everything. I think that's everything I saw, at least. So our next step is going to be to put the torch inside the uh, torch holder and then hop on over. And because she's too much of a smooth brain, she's not going to pick up the torch on while she's up. There you go. So what do we got? We got shinies over there. Oh, lots of shinies over there. We got some sort of embers and a torch here. So let's go check out the shinies in this room real quick. Oh, this is this is a crap room. Look at that. And I can push circle to drop it. Yeah, there we go. So let I know I'm kind of need to go on, but let's just take a moment to appreciate. And this is no joke either. 
the fact that they added a medieval crap room in these levels, this small senses of detail, wash basin, just a gutter. It's just really nice. It's disgusting, but it's nice. Look, you can grab it from above. It just depends on your determination plot twist. All right, so let's go through here, see what we can do. She actually going to duck through? Oh, I can duck, okay. So, oh, I'm just giving me an interaction. Okay, so it looks like those embers are something I can light. I'm going to assume it's going to be something that's going to stay lit. Because now I got sticks here, which I can use to ignite the sticks. Where am I going? What's my route? I got something there. Okay, so it looks like there are a couple of things I might be able to hit. And I can't use a sling when I have something in hand. So let's let's start with knocking this down. So this is something we can knock down? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, some rocks, let's pick up a stick, figure out where we're going to go. Let's find Hugo on the screen first. He went up the ladder, so he's probably up here somewhere. There he is right there. Okay, so our goal is to get right there. So, you see the uh, the embers? That's probably one of my targets I need to get to. But I don't think I can hit it with the sling, can I? I see something shiny right there. Embers right there. Okay, let's let's start with that. Let's start with those those embers first. Okay, so looks like Hugo is actually doing what I exactly what I was not necessarily saying hoping he would do, but that answers that question. So basically, I got to grab a twig and hoof it on over there, and that's the next goal. That's the uh, that's the play right there. This is a very enjoyable game so far. Pretty unique in the puzzles and the the pathing and the world. Like everything about this is rather enjoyable, and I appreciate every, uh, all the detail they've done in this game. Okay, so what's here? We got some leather, some oil, alcohol. We got more alcohol and rope. Huh, do you think Hugo will be eaten if I move too closely? Let's give it a shot. He's fine. <laughs> These boys are like, no, we only like women. All right, all right, all right. I just relax, just relax. So let's see if we miss something up here. Okay, it's getting warm in my little office space. Probably one of those extra things that don't really have any effect on the game. What's this? So it looks like a couple of things. Yeah, I'm glad I went up here. I actually almost didn't. And when it comes to games like this, you go where you're not supposed to to find the things that you need to continue with the game. So, all right. What is our next play? First things first, let's get to that circle. Because I don't see any more shinies. Do you see any more shinies? I don't see any more shinies. So let's get back to that circle. And I can't run. I can't duck because I think I have Hugo with me. All right. And I think that takes care of everything. And like I said, I don't see any more circles or shinies. So there is our next goal.
Okay. All right, first things first, search the area. And I'm starting to wonder that, do you recall in the first episode, the lady, the a chambermaid said, I had left you something on the bed. I'm wondering if it was one of those, uh, just one of these extra things, like a gift, instead of actually needing something like a, like a like material. So that's what I'm thinking. So not necessarily important. That way I can uh, sleep better at night. All right, so. We can either upgrade the pouch or the ammunition bag. Plot twist, do you want me to tell you what it was on the bed? Well, I'm going to assume it's not important. Otherwise, it would have had me go to the bed first. But yeah, go for it, so long as it isn't really important. So, my next, my current goal is to upgrade the pocket. That requires a tool, a leather, something else. I don't know what these are. And a rock lobster. Um, holds 10 ammunitions of each type, 16 materials of each type. Reduces the time required to achieve maximum accuracy on a shot. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go with that ammunition bag. Reason being is, I don't know what kind of ammos are gonna be out there. If I get like, um, if I can get like, a, I don't know, maybe she gets a crossbow and I can actually hold more bolts, but I don't think so. It's saying strings and pouch. However, as I'm finding stuff, more categories are being unlocked, so I don't know. I don't know. So let's just, let's just go with this and move on. No, wait, 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 not that one. Oof, I almost did it. Was there anything important? Just a hair decoration, okay. And now I can pick up more rocks, right? Okay. That is interesting. I also noticed that it's at the very edge of the light. Very interesting. So what is our goal? Our goal is to, okay, I see it looks like um, a, an ash pile or embers. So that's gonna be our goal. That's, our, that's where we're going. Look at all this, like just straight up bodies and stuff on the walls. That's, this is some Diablo BS going on on my hair. Okay, what's our next goal? We don't have, There's some rats there, but I don't know if we can actually get there, but I don't think we're supposed to go back. So let's see what's going on. What, what's our next goal? Where do we need to go? Ah, I was looking for you. Now I can wander around. See if I can see anything. Um, come on, keep on. There we go. It doesn't look like there's anything I'll be able to pick up. So let's just kind of move on then, huh? So our goal at this current point in time is to reach those embers, which is most definitely doable. Look at this scene. Oh, 
Like it looks like something we can hop over. More cheese boys, but I don't see any stick, so I can't wander around any further. So this is it. Our next stop is over the wall. Oh, cheese boys coming out of the walls and everything. Well, I'll just go straight back to the cheese boys. They'll send you their first class. I was actually kind of thinking that, like, what's going to happen when night falls? All right. We can actually run this time around. I did see a shiny. So I have to look out for shinies on the road. That means I have to go back and look out for shinies. So plot twist, did the hair decoration actually change her model or is it just one of those little things that you have in your inventory doesn't mean anything? Okay. So it's letting me wander over here. Let's see if we can't find something. Could be a bunch of cheese boys scuba diving. But there's a pile of blood right there, kid. Look at that. That's a handprint. You know, I don't think I, I just don't. All right, let's let's toss your ass in. We, we gotta get rid of you. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, there's smoke here. Well, exactly. So let's just toss who you in there. He wants to see a frog. Let's frog him up. He also he also wants to see mommy, and we'll fix that problem too. Okay, so once again, the inventory. What is it? A sort of jar? That stuff inside looks strange. Yes, let's leave it here. Okay, so it uh, looks like it's just little side things. Um, maybe another. Uh, 
maybe I should just do it because if I do it another time, I'm going to be like swamped with stuff I'm going to have to read. And okay, let's go back to the camp and then I'll, I'll read stuff. I'll read stuff. All right, refer to as flower of God in some language, some attributes its nickname to its beauty, legend, born blood, Chris. Here, symbol of love, passion, and commitment. Okay. You already read that one. Rare and expensive spices not found in the tables. Moreover, population convinced. Space, rocks, free of divine, fire, air, water above, gone to earth, vegetables, blah, da, 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 da. Incense and herbs, alchemists know it. People in the beginning have to suspect it. Evil does not exist only in the bodies of infected people. Also travels around them. People start blaming air, stench of which indicates the presence of miasmas, and therefore disease, war off great evils. They burn. Okay. So, it's been a century since the last great crusade. Terrible disease, famine, war, calamities, which humanity is toward faith. Let's see. Precision. And then this bad boy. So does that mean all this stuff is going to be found in order? So does that mean I missed three things and I missed two things here? I'm going to assume the ribbon that uh, Plot Twist mentioned is going to be in the gifts. So. And it looks like he's been eaten from the waist down, too. So, cheesy boys. Cheesy boys are near. All right, so we have quite a few things to uh, digest here. We have flowers on the right that we can go through. It looks like two guards, pile of metal to work with. We were just uh, given a full load of rocks, so now it is basically a let's see what you learned moment. So we have the metal there. But, oh, let's, uh, let's get those rocks equipped. Yeah, there we go. So now we got that, but if we uh, bang those, is that guy going to come over here and actually face a way for us to move forward? And after we do that, where are we going? Looks like down there, in that general direction, there's another uh, pile of leaves or high grass. So we're going to give that a shot. We're going to see what happens. Yes, it was an odd sound. I might have to wait for him to turn around and walk back to his position prior to breaking cover. There we go, and we're going to give it a shot. Get behind these logs, where he's going to turn around and not see us. There we go. So then we got this guy. Now we need to figure out how we're going to be getting, uh, getting through this guy. So let's see what we got. Because we can use that pot that we picked up a while ago, but I don't see a pot here for replenishment, so I don't know if that's the play. Well, there's the pot right there. <laughs> so, let's go.
Well, you're turned away. I'm just going to move forward. Oh, looks like I got spotted. OK, so how do I evade? Oh, uh, there's another one. OK, so this might be a load, especially since they're faster than me. So that was definitely not the way to go. So what, what can I do different? Maybe I had the, uh, the pot thrown too close to the other guy. It's possible. It is possible, but it gave us a pot, so I think the pot's the way to go. What if I threw the pot in that general direction? There we go. I can see that I actually didn't get spotted this time around. However, he is not facing a favorable direction, so he's probably going to spot me here shortly. Okay, look at the walking away. Okay, so now we got. So I really don't know how to avoid these fools, so I might just. Yeah, this is going to be a load. Because I'm spotted from the back. That guy is taking his sweet time. I can't go through the bushes. Oh, there we go. I could go through the bushes, apparently, but that guy was blocking the direction. So, lesson learned, right? Lesson learned. All right. Oh, we're back here. Go F and figure. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We have a game plan. Okay, this time around, I'm not going to go too far to the right. We're just going to go to the safety of the of the tall grass. Okay, let's take a look to see what's going on around the general vicinity. We got a guy up there digging. This, oh, it looks like there's something to interact with up there too couple of things actually. So let's see if we can wait for that guy to grab another pile of dirt or whatever he's digging. Turn around, let's go investigate that area. Here he goes. It's going to turn around if I don't move. What is that? It has nothing. I am completely snickers. Hmm, all right. <laughs> Just completely it's like, I saw something. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I want to make sure that he's literally going back to his, his chores or his duties, not knowing that he just got burgled. Yep. All right, is there anything else over here that I can pilfer? Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, I don't think I'm going to be able to go that direction without getting caught. So let's uh, let's move on. Let's go back over here toward this guy because he's doing something very similar. We got that. Okay, so we can go to the rock. We could smack that bucket, distract that guy. We're just gonna do this real quick first. Get him closer. And we're gonna run a test here. The test is, will he see me? All right, now what was the button to uh, have from going to the wall? So I have to be over here. Otherwise, 
Higo isn't going to register the movement. Well, that's a little dumb, but okay. Now I won't have to waste another rock. I guess I'm glad I got the extra ammunition, right? <laughs> the fact that they, he has a different um, responses to, the, uh, to various, like, multiple actions. It's kind of funny. Entertaining. All right. I like how her breathing intensifies as someone gets closer to her. All right, let's pick up some things. So pots will probably be used at some point because it just gave me uh, the option to pick up two of them. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Huh? I'm not seeing anyone, but you know they're out there. See, like right there. <laughs> Straight up right there. All right, so let's see if there's anyone else. So Hugo looks invisible to these guys. So it's all about Amicia at this point. So we're going to throw the pot where we're we going. What is our goal? Is it to go that way? It doesn't look like it. There's like a fence of some type. So let's check it out. That's where we're going. Where are we going? Tall grass there. Probably go to the tall grass. Wrong button. I pushed the wrong button. I stepped on the, uh, the side railing of the treadmill. So you almost got a, a double whammy. All right, it's kind of Go over. Oh, that's not it. Restock that. And head toward the tall grass. Five, you're close. Okay. Now, we have to get through the bridge, but I don't think it's going to be a possibility. So instead of going through the bridge, we'll probably have to go around. Probably find a route underneath, and I have to even go for a dip at, the, at some point. So let's figure out our path, how we're going to do this. So we have a catapult there, some water on the head, that to the uh, left. They can see pretty far, I noticed. So, there's someone over there. So what can we do? What are our options? What are our options? Is there something that we can throw the rock on to hit? I don't know, might be just a little bit too far. Let's see. Hmm, what are our options? Hmm, because if I use the sling, she's gonna have to stand up and she's probably gonna get spotted. So, Uh, she's just not going to be able to hit that, right? Yeah, it's not going to be. So our next option is possibly a pot. We might be able to throw a pot 
over there to have them all turn around and for us to make our way through there. I think that might be it. Well, let's give that a shot. Let's give that a shot. Let's see how this turns out. Oh, they spotted me. Okay, so now we're back to here. We're... Oh, <laughs> just full-on shanked. I think I went too quickly. I think I went too quickly. Let's uh, do this. Let's... A little bit over there more. Okay, they are no longer turning. So I think I did a poor throw, at least in the general accuracy and direction. Just straight up shanked from the back. Okay, so now we're back over here. This time without the Spanish Inquisition, Spanish Inquisitioning us. Saw some rope. I think they're still facing away, so I can sneak this way. Okay. So, now we got this guard. I'm going to take a moment. We're not in any hurry. We're going to see if he pats anywhere. If he does, we'll have to... F okay, there we go. So we have to figure out where he's going and our best opportunity. I see something shiny. Right about in the middle of the screen. Oh, let's see where you're going. Let's actually get this back equipped too. I'm just gonna turn around. I'm gonna use that opportunity to be sneakies. Not too sneakies. Pick up the oil or the alcohol, whatever. Oh, there's a guard right there too. I gotta be careful of that. I wonder if there's something up there. Let's figure that out a little bit later. Let's figure that out a little bit later. Okay, so nothing over here, over there, over there. That guard is the next obstacle. So, how are we going to do this? We can sneak up a little bit closer to see what options we have. Assuming he's not, no, he's not going to spot us. That fence is going to block the way. We got a pot, so it's giving us a pot. So we have that option. Let's see. The pot might be the only option. I'm not really seeing anything else. I'm not really seeing anything else. Uh, slowly creeping up to boiling in this in this place. That's supposed to be a cooler day. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to throw a pot and go through that window. There we go. Oh, a workbench right here. So let's see if there's any uh, any items in the area that we can build for prior to upgrading. I don't see anything. So yeah, let's just get that upgrade going. Let's get that upgrade going. Okay, so we have the pouch and we have the clothes but not the pocket. We need one more leather for the pocket. 
because the, uh, the clothes are going to take five leathers. And I'm missing one. Or whatever that is. I don't know. So I could do the clothes. Let's see. Sucking down my sippy cup. I could do the clothes, make it a little bit more sneakier, but I don't think sneakiness has been really much of a problem. The only time I really had a problem is when I did a, a crappy throw. Alternatively, I'm gonna turn this off. It's just, it's just too warm. <laughs> Alternatively, I can do the pouch. Reduce the time required to achieve maximum accuracy. I don't think that's really much of a problem either. I mean, I kind of did have a slight problem when it came to that club boss, when I thought I had to sneak behind it and then throw a rock at its back. I was right, but I was also wrong. Um, right in the sense that I had to throw something behind his back to uh, a wrong at the target. So, but a quicker accuracy might, it could, that could be beneficial. So let's see. I'm going to make the clothes. I think that'll be better. If I go with the clothes, I can be more sneaky, take more risks to get more materials. That's my train of thought. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I have the ore. Now I need the cloth. I don't know what I don't know what what's beneath the oil and above the leather, but I need the cloth. That's my next thing. All right. So she is now more of an EV fry than she was uh, before. So let's see how this turns out. Oh, uh, looks like you can go that way. I like the fact that there's a dialogue at random intervals, so it keeps you more immersed into the story, into the, the characters as you're progressing through the game. That water right now, I bet you that feels so good. <laughs> it's just so effing warm in this room. Why is it so warm? <laughs> Let's move on. I don't think there's any real items or inventory that I need to worry about, so. I can't run. Oh, let me all rip. Okay, I'm not going to go that way. An interesting lesson in character, uh, like character design and character writing. He's still a kid. Even though this is like a really serious situation, he's still a kid. He still thinks of kid things to do, like hiding in trees and playing hide-go-seek with his sister. So just something to consider, I suppose. You are a sore loser. Sore loser. Look, just because I, I, I mean, just because you didn't find him doesn't mean you have to be all pissy. Jeez. <laughs> it didn't really give me much time to find Hugo. I think it was a triggered event that when you uh, walk a certain amount of paces forward, oh, just, just take a moment, Amicia, just take a moment. And make me jealous. Um... Okay, we're now going back to sneaky mode. Oh. OK, 
Okay, so they're right there, they're splitting up. One's facing away from us, so let's kind of go over here. Ammo, which we are full on. Let's see, we have a barricade. We have that guy. Tall grass, he's just doing his thing right there. Let's see if we can go through the window. Oh, man. Rope. Leather. Remember, I was missing one leather? That means I could have actually uh, upgraded what I wanted to upgrade if I just waited a moment longer. So does this mean I can like hop over it? I guess so. If I'm going to get chased, I'm going to be have to. I want to have to hop over a lot of things. So I want to have to keep that in mind as I'm going through, going through the game. But at this time. Our path is going to take us Yep, I saw right. Those hogs have testicles. Moving on. <laughs> so let's go through here. Now we're going to be in the tall grass. So long as we remain undetected, we're going to be relatively safe from anyone. Is there anything back here? Let's check it out real quick. You know, Amicia, if you had a, uh, a wrist blade, you can just go up here and assassinate that guy. It's easy. You just recklessly jump off of high things and fall into someone. You win. That's not going to let us go on the ladder or do anything on the roof, I bet. So... Now we need to think about a plan, a strategy. He is facing the way we need to go, which is going to be that tall grass right there. Get the rock. We also have that guy who's patrolling around that we're going to have to take into consideration as well as we're going to be progressing through the area. I don't see anything that we can hit. I saw a shiny. I don't remember if it was rocks or if uh, if it was a pot. It's rocks. In fact, let's check out this general area. Okay, so there's, you can see from the spears, there's two. Oops. Over there, there's one guy in the distance over there. There's also one guy holding a torch over here. So based on this information alone, this is not a good idea. However, there might be um, loot. Just that breathing. It's a really nice touch. Her just on the verge of panic. opened out of the ground right under their feet. This is the most annoying noise. Dear God, fucking robots. Fucking robots. Okay, oh. Okay, we now have access to a pot, so if we throw one, we can re-equip it or re-arm him. So, he's just digging and slowly going back and forth. So let's see. If we throw the pot, we might uh, get the attention of someone else. So let's take a moment to see what's going on. I don't see anything shiny in the distance. So I don't know if I even want to go in that direction. All right, let's just go to the grass over here. All right. I'm seeing no shiny stuff, so that means there's no loot over there. So what is he doing? Is that like, is that that aforementioned rat nest that he was talking about? 
and he's just putting like salt or lime or something on it. Is that what I see? Yeah, that's what it looks like. All right, moving on. It's a beat there. <laughs> we almost, we'll just kind of leave him running on the side of the road. Okay, so let's uh, get an assessment of the situation. We have that guy and that guy. They're slowly going back and forth. But that's the thing. They're slowly going back and forth, leaving that opening right there that we can get through the trees. So let's see if we're going to be... Oh, I see a shiny over there. Do you see it? I see it. Dang it. So if I leave Hugo for too long, he's going to make noise. Let's see how things turn out. Let's see how it turns out. I want to wait for this guy to grab and turn around. And I'm going to try to make my way. Just gonna wait for him to grab another pile and turn around. I also have to keep an eye on those guys over there. It uh, looks like the these guys are asynchronous. It looks like he's turned away just enough for me to sneak on back. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Plot twist. Whenever you ask if we see something, I feel like I'm watching Blue's Clues again. I actually never seen that show, so I don't know. I mean, obviously you know that if I'm playing a game by myself, I don't talk. I just focus on what I'm doing. I'm actually playing much slower and much cautious than I normally would. Because I'm trying to uh, discuss my train of thought. So when I do something stupid, it's at least justified with my stupid. Uh-oh. The capture card froze at the most inopportune moment. So I know what I'm going to have to do. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right. We are back. Awesome. Now, how much hate mail did I get for saying I never watched Blue's Clues? <laughs> well, I've never seen it. I just never got around to it. Okay, so we were going to uh, thread the needle. However, the capture card froze, so I think I'm going to go to the side and hide behind the, uh, the half wall while the guards pass each other again. So we're going to do that instead of going through. We also have the opportunity that if we really want to, we can use that pot. Oh, man. There we go. Uh, we are now behind the tree, so we should be in safety. Just going to keep an eye out for anyone on the opposite side of these trees. That way we don't run into them on accident. All right, looks like we are good. All right, we got a shiny up over here. Probably rocks, which I did not use. So, what's the situation? Uh, so, let's go here. Oh, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. Turn around. Turn around. Whew, man. That was idiotic of me. So, we have... Me being idiotic, I actually could have uh, followed the, the wall, the half wall down here, and I would have gotten to this spot fine. And, uh, there's no shiny on that, uh, that cart, is there? Not that I see. So, we have 
looks like a bucket or some pots and pans that we can use a rock to uh, distract the guard. And then what? Do we need to go in the house? Do we need to go around? Let's let's go back a little bit. Because I think because it's still in the white alarm, it's not going to be an investiga investigation alarm. It's not going to see what's going on. That's what I'm thinking. So he's facing. So let's do... Let's see what's going on in the house. At night. Better go see what it's like. Is she going to close the door behind her? No? no Great. There was nothing. All right. Got some sulfur or sulfur like object. More leather. There's a shiny over there. I'm going to wait for that guy to come back and turn around. I should be able to walk behind him with no problem. All right. So now we have this window, which we will open. Actually, hold on a minute. Let's make sure there's no other way because I might be able to tell Hugo to hop on through, but that might that, that's probably just no reason. Let's do this. See what's going on out here. Is there anyone that I need to be aware of? Not that I see. Hopping on through the window. All right, so let's see. There's that, there's that. Nothing else quite going on. I don't see anyone around this corner. Let's go to the safe spot in the bush. Actually, this is probably not really a safe spot because it's uh, just colliders. So it's not really safe. But at least I can hide behind them. As I look around a little bit more, I don't see any shinies. Another half wall there. I thought I saw a shiny, but I think it was just light. Let's go here to see if there's anything. Go ahead and dip your feet. Oh, they're, they're actually going in the water. Okay. Yes, just enjoy the water while you can. Because in a few hundred years, there's nothing. There's not going to be any water anywhere. There's going to be no rain. All right, so now we got that guy. He's facing this way. So let's see what's going on. I don't see anyone else. We got some high, uh, high grass. So let's go to the grass, see what we can see. So we have a couple of options. Obviously, the most obvious is going to be to use the rock there. But that guy over there... If he hears, he might turn around and completely spoil the plan. Oh, looks like there's also a patrol and another guy. Hmm. So I'm going to have to distract this guard and run up behind him all the way down that line as soon as he starts walking up. Looks like that's going to be the play. Is there anything I can do behind? Let's see what's behind. There might be a possibility I could completely avoid a lot of that stuff. I'm behind. No, I'm not going to be able to. Well, kind of. All right. It looks like we got a game plan. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. You know, you can't really argue with that. I mean, <laughs> they're in France, not California. Well, how do you know? This could be the Spanish Inquisition in France because California. Never mind. Okay, so let's see. What do we need to do? 
So we got a half wall there. We're, we're going to probably have to go that way somehow, some way. We might have to use a All right, we are back. You ready to continue? Silliness, just complete ridiculousness. All right, so what is our current goal? Because we kind of got stuck right here, but we got past those two guards. And our current goal looks like it's just to go straight through here. <clears throat> I don't think we can go through. I mean, Hugo can, have, no, you can go through. That is really wide. You two can get through. Okay. Oh, my guy is coming right for us. I don't think there's going to be any items over there, so let's just kind of move on. Let's just move on. Oh, I got to get the chat open. Live stream is technical difficulties. No, it's the motherboard. I even upgraded the BIOS and flashed it, and it's the motherboard. It's just, it disconnects USBs at random because that's what ASUS does. It's just, they used to be really good, but it's, they're, they're just not doing good anymore. They, they're riding their, in my opinion, riding their um, reputation by not producing good customer service or products anymore. So I have to get a new motherboard, and I'm going to this try to find something that's just not a Seuss. They're like the, the leading brand, but. Hmm. Um, it reminds me of uh, the gateway computers, how they used to make like decent cheap computers, but then they kind of had a reputation and they wrote it instead of actually improving the quality of those computers. So. <laughs> Excuse me. Hugo, we can't stop. Not here. We we feel funny somehow. We'll be able to rest when we get to Lorenzo's estate. We need him. He will What do I have to do, Hugo? What would mommy do? Mommy will miss you. I can tell her. That's the best I can do. Come on, climb up. So the kid's kind of like a, a nest detector, right?
Oh, spiteness. I think she killed the lady. So because we're in like a pseudo cutscene, kind of like a little in between, um, I don't think I'm going to have any real dangers to work with. I can't go left or right, I can only go uh, forward or back. So this is like a beeline straight through the those plants. I don't know. I know what happened here. We don't have to be careful now. We better get down if you will. Hmm. Don't believe it. There's nothing we could have done because it's from collider to collider that we had to go through that, so that's all. <laughs> Look at all that cattle. That hum. That was interesting. So we're going to have to go from torch to torch, huh? Wall o' beef. <laughs> okay, we can run. We can run. Oh, we haven't been searching uh, for materials, so I, I got to keep that in mind, too. So our next... It's right over there. Man, look at all these cheese boys. So I was going to try to go that way, but that's obviously been blocked off. So we're going to have to go around. It's I think so. Because they blocked the way. Now it's kind of like a, a race to the fire. There we go. Just discorded notes. Cellos and violins given like this uneasy feeling. A loud chord of the uh it's in the back just uh, okay we got rocks again hmm. it give us rocks why would it give us rocks so the mud was actually there to uh tell us that once we hit that mud we're going to be walking very slowly so now we're, we have mud what is our game plan? Looks like there's something right there I can just sling. We're going to have to go through all the carcasses. That's brutal. Straight up brutal. All right. Last time I saw a wall that beefy was <laughs> 300 men on a mountain. But that wall is like holding him back, right? No, maybe it's just a light. It looks like the wall of beef was holding him back. Kind of distracting him, you know? Oh, there's a lot of shinies over there. Actually, that's probably the way I need to go. For a minute, I was actually thinking I'd have to go this way. But there's also that, uh, this, uh, this oversized cattle troughs, the barricades. 
Oh, piece of candy. We are full on sulfur, huh? Okay. So our game plan is to go there and light the beacon. Light the beacon. Okay. What's our next move? We got a lot of shinies over there. A lot of shinies. Let's see what's going on over here. Uh, just a bunch of tease boys. So we're going to make a beeline over in that general direction. Stay away from the mud. We don't want to be slowed. I said, stay away from the mud. We don't want to be slowed. Not let's go in the mud because we want to get slowed. Jeez, it's not that. Oh, it's going to be close. Oof. Okay, so that was a little bit closer than I expected. Hmm. Oh, it looks like we're going to be able to push this. Probably up the rest of the way. As you know, a 13-year-old gold and a 5-year-old boy can definitely push this heavy-ass thing up a hill on uneven ground that's wet. No problem. Let's do it. And uh, the cart is going to go into the direction of the camera as we've learned from a previous pushing exercise. There's a lot of livestock slaughtered here. I'm not pushing up anymore in case you're curious. Okay. Well, look at all that livestock. Just. What kind of farm did this guy have? This is like a farm. Dead stock. Plot twist, go to the corner. This, this is a farm that rivals modern day, like, agriculture. This is just a ridiculous amount of what used to be livestock. She is very tough on the boy. But he also needs to learn that he can't just go around willy nilly with the Spanish Inquisition popping out. Because no matter how much you prepare, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Whatever the heck that means, right? All right. So we got a door here. Collecting materials, going from side to side. Oh, we got some live stuff. Didn't think that'd be possible considering the uh, the theme of the game thus far. And they really jumped to the inciting incident really quickly. It's like the, one of the first things you do is inciting incident and everything changes. Where are you going, boy? Oh, man. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pet the horse and call it a day. Hello there. Think you might just stay outside, huh? There we go. 
we're going to call it a day. I was hoping to get a little bit further. I, I thought I was going to be able to get through chapter four, but apparently not. So I don't know. There was an auto save. I did see that. I did see it on the bottom left. I'm just hoping I remember it for Saturday stream. So anyway, that does about that just about does it for this episode. So if you like, enjoy the comment, like, subscribe, notifications, comment. I don't know whatever the heck YouTube wants you to do nowadays. Check out my website, jpedgar.com. Got my blog there. Got my books, whether they're as audio books, uh, digital books, or even softbound books. And other features, such as the stream schedule. And other stuff's going to be built as I'm progressing. So that just about does it for today. Thanks for stopping in. More ridiculous to come. <laughs>